Hello fellow YouTubers, this is the Omnom Gastronom with Horchata. The ingredients are brown rice, almond, cinnamon, cinnamon stick, evaporated milk, vanilla, sugar, and water. The hardware, if you have it, are grinder, processor, or blender, strainer, and cheesecloth. So to start, I will be grinding up the brown rice in my coffee slash spice grinder. I like to use brown rice because I feel like it has a nuttier, more substantial flavor to it than white rice, plus it was all I had on hand. So here is a close-up of said brown rice. Doesn't it just look like it would taste good? Alright, so we grind it up, but we don't pulverize it to a powder. Just enough so that there's some chunks in there. And let me show you a close-up of that. See? Not powder. You still got some good chunks of rice in there. Alright, after we grind up the rice, we'll do the almonds. Now you can use whole almonds too, uh, I just had almond slices, um, but just make sure it's not pre-seasoned, like not salted, not honey glazed or whatever there is, just plain almonds. And I ground up mine a little bit fine, but you could leave it with some more bigger chunks in there, it'll be fine. Alright, once we have our rice and almonds ground up, we can add in our warm water. Having the water warm helps for the water to soak up all the flavor from the rice and the almonds. But also, you don't want it too hot that it burns through your container. Give it a little jiggle. And then we can add in our vanilla. Mmm, smells so good. Next, our ground cinnamon. Also, smells divine. And our one cinnamon stick. You could add more cinnamon if you feel like the flavor is a little bit too light for you, but I'm not too big on strong cinnamon. I want to taste the rice also. And here, I'm going to use the stick as a spoon to stir it all up together. Before packing it up and letting it chill out until it cools to room temperature, then I'll move it to the fridge, where it has to stay for at least 24 hours. And 24 hours later... Now we can finish our horchata. So here's what's been soaking for 24 hours. It looks all creamy from all that rice and almond flavor inside. So now we have to strain the rice and almonds from it. I have my strainer with two layers of cheesecloth ready and my pitcher. Alright, so start off by pouring the liquid out slowly, letting the cheesecloth strain any debris that might come out. You have to have some patience during this step. Before you know it, plop! This layer is mostly just the almonds. So since those particles are a little finer, let's just do it in batches and strain this first. Pull 
pull up the ends of the cheesecloth, form it into a little ball, and squeeze. Get every good drop. Now I rinsed off my cheesecloth so I can have room for my rice. Let's remove that cinnamon stick. Now let's do the same with the rice. The more you squeeze it, the more flavor you get. I should have probably done that in two steps, but I felt ambitious. What can I say? Hopefully when you start squeezing it, you have a bigger lidded pitcher so the liquid doesn't spill all over your table. And there you go. Look at that delicious elixir swirl. Alright, now to help make it creamy, I'm adding in some evaporated milk. And to give it a hint of sweetness, I'm also adding some sugar. Oh yeah, we're almost done. Give it a quick mix, make sure all the sugar is dissolved. You could also give it a final taste test if you want some more cinnamon, you could add it now. Or vanilla. Perfect for those hot summer days. Serve it over lots of cool ice cubes. a cinnamon stick. Why not? Give it a little bit of show. Oh yeah. Top it with a little bit of ground cinnamon. And maybe a couple slivers of sliced almonds. It smells so good. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoy. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching.